So this is the relation between enthalpy change of hydration, lattice enthalpy and the enthalpy change of solution. But what is of more importance to us is the enthalpy change of solution in terms of these two. So we will just make, I will tell you why this is of more importance in a while. But for now, I'll just tell you, uh, for first we make the subject, uh, first we make the enthalpy change of solution the subject and then this becomes enthalpy change of hydration minus the lattice enthalpy because we made enthalpy change of solution the subject. So this equation is very important. We will be using it right now. We will be using it right now to uh, reduce some things but to some conclusions. But for now, this is what you need to know and this can often, this often comes as calculations as well. So now when you know this relation, you can straight away calculate, uh, you can straight away calculate the enthalpy change of solution. So I'll just to, to make sure you don't get confused, this enthalpy change of hydration is the sum of the enthalpy changes of hydration of chlorine and sodium. So I'll write Na plus plus delta H not high Cl negative minus Me which is the lattice energy. So this is the relation between the enthalpy change of solution, the enthalpy change of hydration and the lattice enthalpy. Now the solubility of group 2 sulfates and carbonates. So let's start reading from here and then understand what's happening. As we go down group 2, the sulfates and carbonates become less soluble. So as we go down group 2, they become less soluble. So this is the observation that we get and now let's see the explanation behind this. This is because down the group, the radii of cations increase. And as you can see, because when you go from Mg to Ca to the other ones, then the radius, the radii of the cations increase. So as a result, the charge densities decrease. So till now we have done everything till here. This results in both lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydration becoming less exothermic. So just like we said that a, a, a reduction in charge density results in uh, lattice enthalpy becoming less exothermic, the similar happens for enthalpy change of hydration. Because since the charge density reduces, the bonds between the ions and the water molecules become weaker. So the enthalpy of hydration also becomes less exothermic. So down the group, the lattice enthalpy and enthalpy of hydration become less exothermic. However, the change in hydration enthalpy is much greater than the change in lattice enthalpy. And this is because the if you look at the Mg2 plus ion, it is this. But if you look at the sulfate and carbonate ions, it is SO4 2 negative and CO3 2 negative. So these are really big ions. These are, these are really big ions because this ion of SO4 2 negative, the sulfate ion, it consists of five atoms in total. Uh, one sulfur atom, four oxygen atoms. And in the carbonate ion, it consists of four atoms in total. One carbon atom and three oxygen atoms. So you can imagine how big these ions are. So since these ions are a lot bigger compared to the cations, the change in hydration enthalpy is much greater than the change in lattice enthalpy. So for example, let's just take a very uh, random example of MgO. Let's take the example of MgO first. So let's just say, let's assume that the enthalpy change of hydration of MgO, this is just an example, I'm taking random values. So do not see these as the true values. I'm taking this as minus 100 kilojoule per mole. Random value, the enthalpy change of hydration and the lattice enthalpy I'm, take, I'm taking as minus 50 kilojoule per mole. So this is the, so when we calculate the enthalpy of solution of MgO, not O, sorry, uh, just uh, I forgot, we, we can't take the oxide because we are talking about carbonates and sulfates. So let's just write MgSO4. This is what we're talking about or MgCO3. So this is the example. The hydration enthalpy is minus 100 kilojoule per mole. The lattice enthalpy is minus 50 kilojoule per mole. So the enthalpy of solution, as I said, it is equal to the hydration enthalpy. And no 
what is very important? The enthalpy of hydration, 